This is one of a series of videos showing how you can take measured data with uncertainties and do calculations with it. And for this particular example, I want to ask the question in this system, what is the momentum of mass one before this collision in this picture here? What is its initial momentum? Momentum is the product of mass times the velocity. And so this is an example of a product or quotient involving uncertainties. And uh, it is the same either. If there's m divided by v, it'll be the same process. So for this, we can do the calculation, of course. We find that momentum one is equal to mass one, which is 800 grams, times V1, which is 2.80 meters per second. And when I put that together, I keep forgetting to grab a calculator. When I put that together, I will use my phone. I get 800 grams times 2.80. I get 2240, 2240, 2240. And my units are gram meters Per second. There we go, that's my momentum. And now I need to figure out the uncertainty in this momentum. Well, okay, so with sums and differences, I was able to compare the uncertainties, the absolute uncertainties in the two quantities. Up here, I compared these two, and I could compare them because they were both in grams. I could compare them. Here, I can't even compare these. One's in grams, one's in meters per second. That's comparing apples and oranges. I can't say which one's bigger, they're different. Uh, and, you know, which is bigger, three or blue? It doesn't make sense, right? So, so I need something else to do. The rule for products and quotients is what you compare are the relative uncertainties. The percent uncertainties. And so in particular, the relative uncertainty in P1, uh, the way we write that, I guess, is always just uncertainty in P1 divided by P1. This is how we write relative uncertainty. The delta means uncertainty in, so the absolute uncertainty in P1 is delta P1, and then divide it by P1, just the ratio of the uncertainty to the quantity, that's my relative uncertainty. And if we're using the dominant error approximation, which is our simplifying assumption that works pretty well, uh, then again, dominant error means we just look at the biggest, the maximum of the two relative uncertainties. We compare delta M1 over M1 and delta V1 over V1. That is the worst delta I've drawn in ages. OK, delta M1. So I just compare the two. And these, neither one has units, so it's fair to compare them. Which one is bigger? Well, delta V1 is bigger. So there we go, 3.6%. So that's my relative uncertainty in the momentum. And I should say that, as usual, dominant error is an underestimate. It's always an underestimate. Uh, but because this 3.6% is substantially bigger than 1.3%, more than twice as big, it's actually going to be a pretty good approximation. Uh, I would be surprised if, uh, if this came out to be, if the, the, if the full professional error propagation for this came out to be more than 4% or so. Uh, so it would round to one, to one sig fig, it would round to the same percentage. So this is, this is a very solid estimate in this case. And uh, that's the relative uncertainty. And then if I want to know the absolute uncertainty, I just do, I just multiply both sides by P1. I do delta P1 equals, well, I guess I know what P1 is. It's, it's 2240 gram meters per second times 3.6% is 0 0.036. And uh, again, I need to pull out my fake calculator. Uh, I've got 2240 times 0.036. I get 80.64. Well, uh, I'm going to round that to just 80. It would round to 81 if we rounded to two sig figs, but it starts with an 8. So I'm just going to round it, round it to, this is approximately 80 gram meters per second. And so I would report my P1 as 2240, 2240 gram meters per second, plus or minus 80 gram meters per second. And again, this is our standard thing. I've rounded this to one sig fig since it doesn't start with a one or a two. And then I keep the same number of digits and round to the same number of digits here to the leading sig fig there. And there we go. That's my uncertainty. That's my momentum with its uncertainty. Absolute uncertainty here, 
relative uncertainty there. That's how you deal with uncertainties in products or quotients if you're using the dominant error rule.